Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the final few weeks of the semester, and we're going to be creating posters for the girls and boys varsity basketball squads. Uh, now, I've had students in the past make some pretty cool posters, um, particularly when they apply blending modes. It really can enhance the quality of our visuals. Um, but before we sort of go into the logistics of how this is going to work, um, and we know that we're going to be creating PNGs, I want to give you a sneak preview of some of the things that we're going to be doing. So we're going to create uh, posters that maybe look a little bit like this, but we're also going to be creating something that looks like uh, a little bit like this. So here's my man Oliver on fire. Here we've got Carla doing a little yoga. Also en fuego, también. And here we've got my man Seth, uh, who just hit three three-pointers in a row. Uh, so he's burning up. I'm excited. Photoshop's amazing. Uh, what are we doing today, and what are we doing for the remaining few weeks of school? So um, we're making these posters. Who are we going to be... Um, isolating today. We're going to be creating PNGs, we're going to be spending the class doing this, and we need a portrait, and the portrait photo is going to look a little something like uh, this one right there, right here, my man Khalid. And if you don't know Khalid, but you can see obviously that the number of 10 is on his jersey, uh, we can look at the player's number in column C to identify, identify the name of your individual. Um, I know there's a few of the kids on the squad who do not go to uh, lab, so what Taylor is going to do, for example, is he's going to be cutting out Joel, and Joel's wearing number four. I don't, I don't know if Joel goes to lab or not. He's not in my Photoshop class. Is he up here? No, but my man Jack is. So what we're going to do is, for example, for Jack, we're going to be looking for a uh, portrait photo. So for example, this is a nice one to Jack. You're going to cut this out, and then you're going to make sure that you definitely um, eliminate the background, right? And so the size of your, um, the dimensions of your canvas should go right around the edge. So you can make the selection. You can go File, New, Enter, Command V, and then uh, maybe a little Command M for curves, and you're good to go. All right. So you're going to get the portrait, and then what else do we need? We've got column F, G, and H that are looking for action number one, action number two, and action number three. So you're going to either look in uh, these albums that I think Daniel took, um, but because it's indoors, even though it's a cool photo of uh, my man Seth, also Khalid, it's a little bit blurry, right? The quality isn't amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go um, into these other albums. We're going to be looking for image images that um, contain the whole individual. So right here, this person's legs are cut off. But this is a good action shot right here. You guys see that? Um, and if we scroll down here, we can see lots of cool ones of the kids running. This might be a good action shot, number one and number two. There's my man Eli. So today we're going to be creating PNGs. Make sure that your uh, PNGs are excellent selections because not only are you going to be using them, but um, your classmates are going to be using them. I'm going to be using them. I'm super excited uh, about the quality of your work. And ultimately, once we get these PNGs, we're going to be creating posters that look maybe a little bit like this. I've been going to Pinterest to find a little bit of inspiration. And um, oh, that's right, of course. What we're going to do is we're going to be using this gator paper and I actually got a little uh, gator logo that we're going to be using to represent our school creating posters highlighting the athlete I'm super excited there's OJ Mayo whatever happened to him hope you guys are doing well can't wait to see your work good luck